Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. And I thank all of my friends in the legislature and advocates from across the state for joining us this morning in support of the Cancer Treatment Fairness Act. And it's an incredible opportunity to show our dedication to making sure that folks who are dealing with life-threatening illness, a diagnosis of cancer, get access to the treatment that they and their physician think is the best course of action for them to save their lives. 324 people will be diagnosed just today with cancer. That's 118,000 Floridians over the next year. And we are dedicated, we are strong, and we will take nothing but yes for an answer to make sure that we provide an opportunity for folks to do what they need to do without, without worrying that they cannot afford the medication that they so desperately need to save their lives. Yeah. So I'm gonna... Yeah. I'm going to let my friend and, and, and wonderful colleague, Representative Mayfield, share with you her passion on the issue. And we thank you all for being here to cover this. And for everyone back at home who is struggling or who needs relief and needs access to that medication, know that we're here working for you. And we are going to be successful this session. And we ask that you, you give us that. And we'll look forward to being uh, celebrating together very soon. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Luke Webb, and I've personally experienced the financial burdens of having to pay for my oral, oral chemotherapy medication uh, and the stress that it's caused me and my wife, my family, and trying to get access to these drugs when it should have been focused on improving my health. Uh, you know, when you're diagnosed with cancer, it's a day that changes your life forever, something that you'll never experience, that you, you, you never think could ever happen to you. But unfortunately, it does, and it happens to so many. And it happened to me. I was 28 years old. I was newlywed. And I just went to the emergency room to have pain in my abdomen checked out. And it turned out to be cancer. And to treat my form of cancer, it costs $7,000 a month for my oral chemotherapy medication. It's not available in IV form. It's only available in the oral medication form. And luckily for me, I'm approved by the drug manufacturer and I get my medication, but it, for countless other Floridians that don't meet the income restrictions, that can't qualify, oral medications are out of reach. And as I said, my form of oral medication doesn't come in IV form, it's only oral, and I have to take it every single day, like Representative Hood. And if it was an IV form, you know, it'd be a different story, but it's not. It would be covered 100%, but it's not. And if it wasn't for the oral medication, I'd have to have a bone marrow transplant. I wouldn't be standing in front of you today. And, I mean, there's so many patients across the state that need access to these medications, and that's what we're asking for. Please don't restrict access to these medications. Please treat them the same as IV medications. And it's patients like me that are calling on those in the state of Florida with power, those who are standing around me today, to do what they can they have the power to make the changes, to change these policies, and to remember patients that are counting on them, patients like me and patients like the rest of us. Thank you very much.